G'day mates! <laughs> Old sicko Uncle Nico here, just battling on. I don't have COVID-19, thank goodness. I went and got a test yesterday, that's come back negative. But I have one case of man flu. Now a few days back, I dropped a video talking about the ResMed cellular modems. And what's gonna happen in the near future when the carriers switch off the 3G networks? Unfortunately, if you're one of those people that has a 3G modem inside your device, you're no longer gonna be able to transmit and send data to the My Air app and also ResMed's AirView, which is their remote patient management platform. So if you have a physician or a CPAP consultant remotely monitoring you, they will no longer have access to your data, your sleep data, and they won't be able to also change settings remotely from wherever they are. And that video got a lot of interest. There's a lot of views and also a lot of comments and I also got a lot of emails. So I just thought we'd double back on that and maybe just discuss a few of those comments and also a few of those emails that I've been receiving. And before we get into that though, I do wanna talk about something else. This morning I woke up bright and early. I was very excited because today was the day we're giving away the AirSense 11 machine on our private Facebook group. So I was very excited for that. I was originally gonna use a random comment picker that was just gonna randomly pick a comment and that was gonna be the winner. But that wouldn't work for privacy reasons or whatever it was. So I had to come up with a new way and I was looking around and I found this way which is basically you count up all the comments and then you just get a random number picker. And that's what we did. So I spent the morning counting how many comments there were, 350 participants, Everyone sending beautiful pictures of themselves with their CPAP masks on and, and naming their CPAP machines, all these great funny names. It was really enjoyable to read through them all. And, um, and so I go to announce the winner and I opened up this software to do the random, the random number picker. And I do it. Number 46, Peter. We've got a winner. Hip hip hooray. And I messaged Peter, did a video. Everyone was sort of stoked for Peter. He had a dream station machine, so it was very fitting that he was the winner. And then, someone with a keen eye has noticed that when I'm doing the random number picker, the maximum that I've got is 100. So it's only picking between one and 100. Uh, big boo-boo, and I'm really sorry for that. Now, Peter must have also seen the video, and he's seen that post, and this is how much of a good bloke he is. He wanted me to run the competition again. He just won himself an AirSense 11, and he felt so bad for the others that he asked me to do the competition again, pick another number. I mean, that's the sort of people we have on that page, just great humans. Now, so I just wanna read some of these comments here. The first one's from The Man. Now, any time that I say anything negative about ResMed, I always see a comment from the man. And he's always very protective of ResMed. Maybe he's, actually, now that I think of it, now that his name is the man, he sounds like he could be from ResMed's executive team. Because that's definitely a man's club. I don't know if you've seen it, but there ain't too many women in that uh, executive team. So ResMed might want to even up the numbers on that. So the man writes, BS, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. They will do an upgrade and fix it or replace the machines. That's what the man writes. And then Lewis writes, did you know ResMed provided free upgrades to their 2G customers when that network was shut down? Would have loved to have seen you address this in your video as well. Thank you, Lewis. No, I didn't know this. Um, and if that's the case, I'd love to hear some more stories in the comments about that. Were you a ResMed 2G customer? And did they offer you a free upgrade to a 3G modem? I'd love to know how that went down, if that was the case, because underneath Lewis's comment, we've got Robbie. And Robbie writes, my 2G stopped years ago. I wrote to everyone to try and get a 3G or 4G mo modem. No one seems to know what the fuck I am talking about. Now, I'm not sure if Robbie was emailing ResMed, or who he was emailing, but no one seemed to be able to help Robbie. So maybe Robbie, you should write to ResMed and, and see what the deal is. Uh, Glenn here writes, I mentioned this to ResMed support line two years ago and I was told ResMed would update the modem free of charge 
when and if the 3G was retired. I would love to see them honor that. That's interesting. And this is another one. A guy who just bought an AirSense 10 machine. He doesn't have really a name here. It's JPG iBard. When I bought my 3G a few weeks back, I was told I would get a free upgrade to a 4G once the modem cards become available. Okay, that's important there. Once the modem cards become available. Another person issues, yep, my, my brand new one week old AirSense 10 is a 3G. And Matt here, I was told I'd get a free upgrade. So a lot of people getting told they'll get free upgrades when they become available or when that 3G network gets shut down. Drinks break, excuse me. This is cough syrup. And then I got an email from Joe. And I think this might be Joe from the Dream Station recall group on Facebook. If it is, get hey Joe, thanks for your email, mate. Now Joe wrote to ResMed inquiring about this because he's got an AirSense 10 machine. And they replied to Joe with, hello Joe, thank you for contacting ResMed about our products working on 4G and 5G networks. Our AirSense 10 units purchased in the recent, in the recent past are all 4G. At this point, I do not have any testing information on the 5G networks. If issues would arise, we would notify our dealers and have the information available at resmed.com. If you have any product questions, blah, 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 blah. Regards, uh, and I won't say his name. Now, that email is, is, is false because they're not all 4G, all right? A lot of the recent ResMed Air Sense 10 machines are actually 3G because there's a massive component shortage of the 4G modems. And because there's such high demand for ResMed products at the moment due to the Philips recall and, and other things, they just want to get these machines out into people's hands. So if they can't get the 4G modems, they're whacking 3G modems in there and, and they're shipping them out. I know a lot of people who are resellers. I know a lot of people in the industry and they're having a very hard time getting those 4G versions of the AirSense 10. All they can get is the 3G versions. So that, that email there is, is false. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Joe. And it just kind of shows really, doesn't it? Just because you send an email off to ResMed doesn't mean you're going to get accurate information back. A lot of these customer service guys that are doing these emails, they're not in the know. They don't know everything that's happening in the industry. You're much better off getting your information from old mate Uncle Nico and on our Facebook group as well. Those guys are pretty switched on too. They don't even have enough 4G modems for their own manufacturing needs, let alone all the millions of replacement modems that are going to be required. And how does the process work? Are you going to have to ship in your AirSense 10? I imagine you would. So you're going to have to go a few nights without your AirSense 10 machine. While they install that modem, then they're going to have to ship it back to you. It's going to take a lot of time. It's almost like a mini recall. It's all good and well saying, it's all right, guys, we're going to repair and replace your modems. You'll be fine. But at the end of the day, that is a big task. And I think we need some information on it. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is how to find out what cellular modem is inside your AirSense 10 machine. Now I showed you it was written on the back of my machine, but there's also another way you can check because there was a lot of confusion there. Some people have different plates where it wasn't written. So I'm gonna show you how to get into the clinical settings, how to go into the about section, and from there you'll be able to see what cellular modem you have, but also what network it's using. And then we'll finish up. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, this is uh, pretty simple. You can see up here that I have no cellular reception, and that's because my machine's an import, so it won't connect to the cell towers here in Australia. But to get into the clinical menu, you just press and hold down these two buttons. I'm going to see here it says exit clinical menu. So now we're in. Now if we go into the settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll get to the about section. And then it's going to tell you some information there. So the run hours, your serial numbers. And if you keep scrolling down here, it's going to tell you your internal modem, serial numbers of your internal modem and what type it is. See where it says type there, 4G. And then it should also have um, your provider there as well. That sort of information in your service. And also your signal, all that sort of stuff. So you can check that out in the clinical menu. All right, cheers. Okay guys, we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, have yourself a great day, look after your mates, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, bye.